The Batlock Brawlers bring to you another map in Age of Empires 2 and this is map tutorial series and this map is about the death maze. Now what's here in our death maze? We have this Thunder. king, yes that's us, and we're just gonna navigate the maze. This game has been inspired by one of the ads that I keep seeing on my mobile. If you keep seeing that too, put it in the comments um, and if you haven't seen my other maps that I made for Age of Empires 2, at least the tutorials, then take a look at my page or take a look at the uh, playlist that I have. So, the very first thing is see um, green player is gonna be enemy. The blue is actually an ally of mine and uh, I only have the king unit and if you can see in the min mini map here, I just have an outpost but later, more on that later. So first section is going to be about the fire trap versus well the trial of strength or speed or whatever so let's just show what that's about okay so um, they're definitely attacking me and see if I don't move um, we're all just dying from the fire well they're dying from the fire too so if I move too slowly yep dead king and let's try the other possibility. Mm, yeah. So if I kind of, um, you know, get stuck like that, then they will beat, beat me up. And notice that my king has 200 health. Yeah, he's eaten a lot. More or less, um, nobody's dying. Oh, look at that arrow. Um, so everybody's still chasing me because they didn't die from the fire, so that's one. And then they're beating me up and my king just keeps running away. So yeah, let's, let's stop it at that. That was the first trial in the maze. So what was that about? So first of all, to set up this scenario, we have certain triggers. First of which is the king, just a modification of its attribute, just add a new effect and you're just gonna select this, add some hit points, make it 200. And then for the first trial, have some flames. So this flames thing is, uh, there's no condition here, it's just an effect. So what that does is, uh, see here damage object effect and if it actually for any unit of mine as long as it's a player one unit it's going to do 10 damage on this area and this one is another damage effect but this time it's for player three and it basically does 10 damage same same as um so you know so we can both burn in the fire because um, that's one of the strategies, you know, you just make draw the units and make them walk through the fire since the king's HP is much higher than, well, eagle warriors or anybody else because they're slow, they're gonna roast. Ar armor is heavy. So that's the first trap. And as you can see, when I reached the tent, there was this tent here, which does a heal. So it kind of marks the next section of the maze. So what happens here is we do another trigger, just a basic trigger. I mean, you don't need to um, do anything but check this trigger looping here, set it to yes. And then um, what you do is do a condition, if object HP, and then you do a set object on the king. If object HP is less than 200, then you can do a damage object effect but the thing is the magic here is when you do the damage object so i did a set area and then i just said quantity minus 10 so it's going to damage you for negative 10 damage which therefore makes it the reverse instead of damaging you it does heal you um heal your unit um and i have it on another tent that i set up here which is for the next section and then um, let's just see how that plays out um, what we'll do is we'll 
gonna teleport the king since we're kind of done with the first section. I'm gonna move the king here. Right. And then let's see what the next section has for us. So this is the king now. Yep. And then if you were coming from here, you probably wouldn't have seen the unit, the red unit here. So you, you'd have two choices. You maybe you try to go through this what in the world is shooting me. There are no units there, but basically it's kind of the recreation of, um, you know, you know how in dungeons they have this part, the, this corridor where you pass and then there are stakes coming out or arrows flying. So this is it. So how was this portion done? This, uh, we create a trigger called a projectile trap. And then it just does two things. It modifies the attribute of whatever unit you placed here. I placed a heavy scorpion for that uh, big bolt effect. And I just set the movement speed. See operation set. Movement speed object attribute for player 3 to 0. That effectively renders them immobile. Because if you don't do this, then you know the heavy scorpions will kind of... Um, run all over the place and uh, even though they're, beh they're behind the wall um, they can still clump up a bit and that that would make the effect a bit weird maybe depends on you and then the second one is just for effects you set occlusion mode of the heavy scorpions of player 3 set it to 0 so you, you see these outlines here you can see the heavy scorpions if you set occlusion mode to 0 then the player won't see that. They'll just see a fortified wall shooting arrows at them, so that kind of preserves the effect of the, the dungeon. And maybe for good measure, you could also remove this wall right here. Um, you know, just, just so it doesn't look like there are units hiding there, and just looks like the walls are shooting. There. Um, so as you can see, when my king tried to cross this trap, he was just too slow. So he died. So we do another trigger called a power-up trigger, which we add a condition and we set object. I set the object to king and the next object to this guy here. So basically if I bring the king to this unit, it's gonna modify the king's attributes. See here, uh, modify attribute king modify the movement speed and add two that makes the king much faster and um we're just gonna display instructions um just for our role-playing um guy here taught the king to move quickly so let's just test that out right so yeah, I'm being shot at, and then if I reach this, uh, see, I will teach you how to move quickly, and as you can see, the king is moving much faster now, so let's just charge around to heal, and as you notice, um, the healing isn't perfect, my HP is 202, above 200, but that's fine, you can maybe ignore that for now, you could uh, do a less than something. Um, and then I can now supposedly safely cross, although as you can see it's still kind of hard, right? So look at that, I've still been defeated, so it's not really that big of a boost. Of course you do have to, well yeah, since you know it's a game, so you still have to make it challenging somehow. So what you can do is um, I'll try to do this. Yep. So, how many times am I gonna do? I'm gonna play this before I actually get through my own trap. I've had better luck when I was testing this before I made a video. Alright, let's make it through the trap now. Come on. Come on, come on. Or, uh, no. I can't even get through my own trap. How's that? Yeah, maybe this version of the king can maybe make it. Let's just heal a bit. 
Okay, 208 HP. Can we do it? Can the king do it? Okay, yes. All right. So, um, king is all HP'd up. The next challenge is the most interesting one among all of them. So it's st still the walls are shooting at me. So do you see this? Let's watch this area. Look at that. There's a siege ram on steroids. So siege rams don't move that fast. I think that even moves faster than a paladin or something. So here's what's going to happen. Boom. Yeah. Don't mess with the siege ram. So how's that? Um, what that was is basically uh, a siege ram trigger. So first of all, we order the siege the siege ram with an effect, add an effect, an attack move effect, and set object to siege ram and whatever player the siege ram belongs to. I just set objects to the siege ram, and then I. I, I don't actually know for sure whether it's area or location, whichever, but I did set them both here. Um, yeah, more or less. And then... So that makes the siege ram go from here to here. And then I did a modify attribute and set the speed of the siege ram to 2. That's why the siege ram was pretty much on steroids or it's running so fast and then how does the siege ram return and I have a trigger here SR teleport so it has a condition which is if you bring the siege ram to this area it will teleport this object which is the siege ram it will teleport it back to this area so I, I set the area and the location both here I'm not sure which of these two are um, is gonna be followed if you set them both so just I just kind of set them both on the same area so that gives the effect that once the siege ram makes it here it just teleports back and then how does the siege ram kill the king there's an, another trigger called the collision trigger so um, it's a bring object to object condition so you just set the uh, it's kind of similar to the priest monk whatever here um, just set uh, the siege ram if it comes into contact with the king it kills the the king uh, so you do a kill object effect here and you don't even need to specify king right you just need to set the object, so it's the king that's set here. You don't even need to set the area. Um, and then finally, um, victory condition is, well, um, just bring the object, which is the king, to the area. So object is king. The area I set is here. And if king reaches here, then we declare victory for player one. So let's see that in action. Oh, but before that, just so that I don't waste too much time, I'm going to move the king here. So that I can get that um, speed boost. And I do hope that I won't die again and again. Okay, good. I, I learned my lesson from my own traps. So let's just charge up. Well, actually, it doesn't matter too much if I charge up because it's an insta-kill. So there's a siege ram. Um, so note that it actually the siege ram, you don't have to be super adjacent to it. You, you just need to be a bit close, around maybe, I think, two tiles close. And it's enough to kill you. So if I like walk the king here, see, king's dead. So you need to give at least three tiles. Um, so that um, the game won't consider it as contact. So let's do that again. I'm getting good at this. Alright. So of course you can, you know, make up your own maze, uh, make it complicated, make it harder or easier. Depends on you. Ah, be shot at. 
Okay, hide here. And of course you can modify the speed of the siege ram to make it harder or easier for your scenario. Uh, okay, pretty close. So part of the part of making it is yeah, just to make it exciting. So there we go. King Victorious. Um, so that was the last trap, and that's the three the three trap um, dungeon that I made. I might expand this in the future. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Um, but I hope you liked today's video, and hope that gave you a lot of ideas to work with if you're planning on making a map dungeon. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and see you next time.